मेरा तुझे नवान आज भी कौरिंगा मिंगास्तान तुझे कुटुंबालान संगे सुरना या तुझे परतान तुझे कुटुंबालान संगे सुरना या तुझे परतान आज भी मानसं तुला मानितान आज गाऊं गावल की तान कारण हीरंचा हीरा असली हीरा आईशी सगले बोलतान कारण हीरंचा हीरा असली हीरा आईशी सगले बोलतान सबत तुझाऊ तमये चान मिजगिन सबाव तुझा कौरों वन वट या जमचे काल जाला कारण नहीं तो अचे दीसा आजन दिस्यो है तुझे जल्माचा कुमूटे हाउशेचा नवत न चारवत संपूरिं जैली खुब याद परते तुझा सबत तुझा होता मये चान मिस्किन सबाव तुझा कौरों वन वट या जमचे काल जाला कारण नहीं तो अचे दीसा आज दिस्यो है तुझे जल्माचा कुमूटे हाउशेचा नवत न चारवत संपूरी जैली खुब याद परते तुझा खुब याद परते तुझा खुब याद परते तुझा Happy birthday, Mr. Thomas Pereira. May your soul rest in peace. Hi, I am Gregory Gracious. A very warm welcome to all the viewers on this YouTube channel of Mr. Thomas Pereira. Our late Mr. Thomas Pereira was a very well-known East Indian singer. He has sung many East Indian songs and delivered a very good message to all the East Indian communities. Today, we are present here to know more about him. So, not wasting much of the time, let me introduce to his family members present here. Yeah, I'm Rufus Parera, his youngest son. I'm Elinor Parera, also known as Pooja Menon, his elder daughter. Also, Joining us is younger daughter Deirdre Pereira from Nevada, USA. Let us know more about your dad. What are the memories about your dad? I remember my dad as a very handsome, multi-talented and a very intelligent person. He was, uh, you know, he had a great, he was a great personality, a very kind human. He was very clean hearted. And a very good human being. So those are my memories of my dad. There are many memories about my dad, but just to name a couple of them, like when, as kids he used to take us to school every morning. Then just before retiring for the night, we used to all sit around him, and he used to tell us about the incidences that happened with him during his earlier bachelor days. These are, I think, two precious memories uh, which I hold close to my heart. And as and when we turned to him for guidance, if he needed any, he would always guide us in the right path. I passed away when I was very small. I, mean, I was just 13 years old. So I like remember him like he should take me everywhere like to my uh, to our little house. And uh, whenever like whenever I used to see he whenever he uh, he wanted to go to any little house, he should tell me about. And everywhere I uh, like, he should tell, and even his friends whom we met on the way, you know, used to always tell he's my last and my best. So that I still remember. And uh, I always uh, remember when he used to come back from work. Uh, many a times he used to plug. We had a garden down the uh, down the building. He used to plug those aloe leaves. And he, he was very fond of making those aloo vadis. And he was a good cook. My mother used to always tell me that your father should cook well. So, so, so you are lucky to have a good cook from this side. Yeah, yeah he was a good cook, you know. He had learned from his mother. Actually, our Parera family, they are foodies. 
and everybody the whole family they are very fond of eating and cooking uh, i mean irrespective of whether they are male or female everyone is good at cooking शेजारीन बाई जारी कतरीन पान्या सुन तीन बरा मी दो एक सदरीन गायो सोदीन ईश्वर लावचे धास्तीन माहिती हाय सगळे गावाला मी फसल्याचे दोस्ती याला बाजूला कवळा लोटी बाय का हो तुझे नावान सगळे गावान पल्ले बोंबा येणार शेवटी मी बघ तुझे कामा रमाजी पास गाईचा रू बाब यो मासाचा कबाब सांगते इला घाल हाता नात न फेसला करून टाक मेला मापड मानते जबाब बाग सुकलेला यवा आकल याची झाली नात याला वर्ष झाली सान व गाई तरणी टाटीला भेटीन पाहुणी आत आग माझे जीवावर करशील राग जर लाईशील वरान यानी हात धावून घेले पाठ याला सरम नाही कला हा मे सारवी ते माझी वाट माझे मग आय दिसणारी गोरी गोरी बघा मडम खुस काला काला कतरीन होत कौरी खुस माना चक्कर येते अवतार याचा बघतूस अग माझे पाया परशील बघ शेवटी तू राग नको करू मया तू मी खूप करीन आम्हीच माझे काल जाण ठेवीन जीवाची राणी बनवीन
रात्रीला लागली माझी कोरी was a very good sportsman um, he uh, there was a showcase uh, full of his trophies at my grandfather's house he was a very good he was a avid reader he uh, was also very fond of hunting and had accompanied his friends on many expeditions of hunting he had a rifle uh, he was a very good cook and we enjoyed the food that he was cooked by him yeah like my sisters already said that he was an avid reader He used to read, you know, all uh, article, periodical, magazine, newspapers. He used to get Marathi newspapers at home. Then he used to read novels. And in those days, at Dadar, there were no electricity lights when he was young in his younger days. So he used to come and sit uh, under the street lamp and and read and study. You know, so interested he was. And then, as my sister said, he used to go up to Nasi Gopi. to do hunting shikar and you know he's brought many a time kabutar to was uh, common but uh, you know he's brought tigers meat and then so many animals the deer and all he has hunted and uh, of course he was a very good orator people used to like to listen to him and um, he was a very good sportsman now we we had you know a lot of uh, his trophies in our dadar showcase and one big topli full of trophies uh, my younger uncle his brother freddy used to keep sports on 26 january and all that when people used to you know he used to um, give away those in uh, in prize prizes to the children so that's how all the uh, all the trophies uh, got over that topli full of trophies okay you have to say yeah i i know like uh, now besides what she said i know she, he was he used to listen to commentary and you know when india used to uh, go to west indies that commentary used to get get relayed early morning late night so uh, he used to put on the radio at at 4:30 in the morning to listen to the the commentary which used to come from from, from west indies so and he had a bat which he used to use uh, like he was very fond of cricket also Okay. Uh, so I know, and he used to uh, when he used to see me playing down, he used to correct me. He used to hold your bat this way. He used to hit this way. So he was uh, like good at means uh, cricket also and other sports also. Okay. Nice to hear more about it. So did you accompany you to a part of the competition? And what are the feelings you have while you used to perform? yes sometimes we did accompany him um, for the competitions and we were in awe of his singing of his performance because during his performance there would be pin drop silence and people would be running helter skelter just to see him see and hear him perform 
Uh, yes, I was small, but I used to attend uh, competitions along with my mom and dad. And uh, as soon as his name was announced, people used to come running wherever they were. They used to come running uh, and sit on their seats. But I used to feel nervous, you know. I used to be nervous. I used to keep praying when he was singing. I used to be praying. I didn't let everything go well. And people used to, you know, load intently. There used to be pin drop silence. And when he finished city singing, there was a big round of applause. And of course, the first prize was always his. And also, like he had a very like special messages and all in his song. Yeah, all his songs. Uh, used to always listen to him attentively. Uh, most of his songs were based on real stories, yeah. and uh, it had a message to the community. And he was so foresighted, you know, at that time. So many years back, when he's written all his songs. Those, uh, I mean, those things, those incidents those are, still, are still, still relevant. Still yeah. relevant now, today mm -hmm. also. That yeah. youth is so sad. Okay. Also, I also have a company name, like once I still remember, uh, we are going to Khar, uh, where uh, the TV, TV was the first place <laughs> at, at Khar. But instantly, he, uh, in the last chorus, he coughed and that was, uh, we missed that. Okay. Uh, like he had sung so well, but he had little cough. So in the last chorus, he got and I still remember we went to Manori once. So Manori, uh, the competition got over at morning 4.35 o'clock. And then uh, from there, some of daddy's friends accompanied him. We went to Gorai to, uh, to some of daddy's friends' house. And one of my daddy's friends, that's Saar, the Polly, Polly from Saar. Yeah. Uh, after I got tired walking from Mandir to, to Gorai, he picked me up on his, uh, on his shoulders and he, and he carried me. I still remember that. <laughs> yeah, and another thing is, you know, when uh, when we entered the competition, when you, everybody used to give a, offer him drinks, you know, so that he forget his song. And um, and when he was drunk, that was his weakness. He used to forget the song. Uh, one such incident happened. You know that uh, people, some people out of jealousy, they were trying to push him in a way, with the intention to kill him. Then I don't know someone like a good Samaritan, maybe someone a good Samaritan in the image of God. Uh, reach there and he said don't do this to him he is young he has got small children and um, though my father was uh, drunk he remembers this he came home and narrated this to my mom and then from then on my mom started accompanying him and she used to be close to him she never used to leave him even for a minute नजार सगल्याना मीन त्यांना कोण आहे कितलं गायत पण खूप जणांना आहे कितलं बोलत तर त्यांचे सरक गावना न लिवना कोणाचं नव्हत असली हिरा अँड द लेजेंडरी मिस्टर थॉमस परेरा सेलिब्रेट्स हिज हेवनली बर्थडे टुडे मे गॉड ब्लेस हिज सोल अँड कंटिन्यू टू इन्स्पायर मेनी सिंगर्स लाईक मी मी त्यांचंच एक गाणं आज गायत आहे प्लीज ऐका थँक्यू सो मच Nice. 
Did dad encourage you any time? And did dad have his parents' influence on him? Uh, yes, uh, actually we were small but we both daughters did start singing with him. I sang some complimentary duets with him. And I used to sing for competitions. Uh, my sister also was very small but yet she boldly sang one solo. Uh, but when he died, you know, we were still small and we were studying. So we, our priority was was education and our career. We gave up. And my dad's parents, yes, like uh, his father was very strict and his mother was very mild and lenient. Yeah, for but me, he, like I, uh, I never, I don't remember that my dad anytime told me about uh, like to take on singing or anything. I should. I I only remember that he used to in the house also. He used to take uh, whenever I should play with the bat. He used to just show me how to catch the bat, hit hit, hit the shots. Or uh, even uh, I was good in athletics. Even my dad was good in athletics. So he used to show me like how how to take your stance while running and all. So uh, he was like he knew that uh, I don't know like he never. Encouraged me in singing out. But in sports, yeah, he knew he we were good at sports, so he, he encouraged sports. But he on his own he had his talent of singing and composing. Right? Yeah. There was no one to influence him like no. you have to do that. Yeah, but he uh, had his own ideas and yeah. composing. Yeah, he had a lot of film offers, like my sister said, no? we, they had a bar uh, attached to their house and that. Okay. Where in the evening all uh, big personalities used to come. So this, uh, especially that Ramanand Sagar, he always ये लड़के को मैं लेके जाऊँगा, मैं इसको हीरो बनाऊँगा. And all those uh, Marathi drama people staying at Shivaji Park and all used to all come there. By the way, my dad used to watch all Marathi dramas like you know there in that uh, that opposite plaza. 
uh, Ekas Piala and uh, all those uh, you know, Kortachi Pairi, all those. So those actors used to come here for drinks and uh, they used to call him, why don't you join us? But my grandfather was very strict, he used to say that that is a dirty location. And uh, my grandmother, uh, you know, he, she was a very good cook and she was uh, very pretty looking. My dad had gone on her and she came from an aristocratic uh, family. She was educated, you know, she used to speak English and uh, we used to, I used to ask her, Mama, what is the capital of so and so country? And she used to, you know, tell me and uh, she, she has travelled abroad and uh, uh, so that was uh, the memories of my grandparents also. My dad was a very obedient son. He got film offers from uh, V. Shantaram, Ramanand Sagar, Dada Konke. But my grandfather just refused uh, him to get into all these, uh, telling him that it, it was not a good vocation. So he very diligently obeyed my grandfather and did not uh, comply with uh, these offers. He was also known as Asli, Dada's Asli Hira. Yeah. And that is for what, like? Uh, no, he died a tragic and a very, uh, what to say, uh, a very mysterious death. And uh, he was young and we were also small. And after his uh, death, Gregory from Mitoli, singer Gregory, composed the song Asmi Hira. Of course, he didn't accept the prize and I heard that he even cried on the stage. So Gregory himself being a great singer, after my dad I count my, I count Gregory and Gilbert as great singers and he was humble enough to call him Asli Hira. There is one line in the song which says that Ami kaure bhi pura zao, tari tujhe manga Now Gregory, after my dad, Gregory is the next best singer. Even then he has used those words, you know, that shows that he is such a humble and a great person. Uh, from that moment almost now everybody calls him Asli Hira. Okay, so when, you, when you say Asli Hira and Balo Tenkun, everybody remembers him as a... He, they remember us as the uh, children of the man who composed Balo Tenkun. Okay. So this is how he was known as Dadarsa Asli Hira. Now dad had got an opportunity to settle in London. But why didn't he take that opportunity? He refused uh, to settle in London because he would have to stay away from his family. He would be homesick and by the time uh, he got a job and all that and plus he wanted to stay back. And since he was into uh, singing and all that, he wanted to do something for the East Indian com community also. Uh, my dad's younger brother, Richard, okay. uh, he had already settled in London at a very young age. So he was calling my dad, he had, uh, uh, you family is a very good way. That time we were only three children born. And um, you come to me, I will uh, you know, get you a job. So you will work a little you buy your own house and then you call your family over. So that would take maybe a year or even more than that by the time we went and settled there. My dad was saying, I will be homesick. I'll miss my family. Amala well, that is the, that is one reason. And the second was uh, he didn't want to miss on his competitions and his singing and composing. If he had settled there, then he would have uh, not been able to sing there. Yeah, so for that reason, those two reasons, he didn't go. Okay, so that was the reason he didn't take the opportunity to settle in London. Yeah. Okay.
भावांदो आणि बहिणींदो आम्ही थॉमस परेराचे पोरंजून लोकाचे मोठे मागणी वशी त्यांची गाण्यांची पहिली सीडी काढले ती तुम्हाला पसंत पडेल आईशी आशा बालगीत आमच्या डॅडीला परमेश्वरांनी मोठी बुद्धी आणि गुणांशी आशीर्वादित केला होता म्हणून तो सगळ्यात मोठा इस्ट इंडियन कंपोजर आणि सिंगर झाला ग्रेगरीने गाविलेलं गाणं असली हिरा या त्याच्या आत्म्याला खरी श्रद्धांजली हाय आम्ही त्याचे आभारी हाव and then uh, he moved to state government uh, he went to nasik he was working for the government when that nasik and then later he uh, used to find it difficult for commuting to bombay for competition so he wanted to come back to bombay he took a transfer to government central press in chennai yeah i i remember uh, like uh, he used to have shifts in this government press and uh, i remember many of his friends visiting us very often and uh, like he was a good person to make friendships like he had the he had many friends okay and uh, like one of his he uh, one of his friend used to always tell him he uh, like he was bala saheb's right hand oh one gaude and he used to come to our house very often and uh, my that new bala sir he personally because they should stay in the same body okay at that time during their childhood ah, we are doing that in the childhood so like uh, that gaude told bala sir ki i i go to ji thomas's house every week so he should that gaude he should tell ki ye bala sir is saying bring him along bring him along i i know him since my childhood but my dad was never interested in Okay. Joining for <laughs> yeah, no. He was a very simple life. Yeah, he he should never. Oh, family uh, man. Yeah, family man. Okay. And that time uh, it was okay. That she was not that thing. That is now the like, how it is today. They were just coming up. Okay. That I know. He was a very strong man. Yeah. Okay. They were very jolly. Ocean. Every second person was his friend. Okay. He had an ocean of friends. My dad was a state government employee, where he was uh, liked and admired by his colleagues at his workplace. His song "Mobai Amche Zalmachi" was published in the State Government Employee Union official magazine. Yeah, at his workplace, his uh, his boss, uh, he had a Catholic boss, Anglo-Indian Catholic. He was very fond of him. and of course uh, he all his friends all his colleagues were very fond of him at his workplace because during their uh, intermission you know they used to have fun and all and he used to tell them jokes sing songs and uh, 
they were all very fond of him. At his funeral, the whole uh, government press had come there to the other church. Okay. So much, it was uh, at least, I think, nearly 200 people were there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and uh, I still remember one of uh, when uh, one person who was one of our neighbors who was staying in the opposite building. Okay. Uh, once after my dad's funeral, after few days, I I met him. He had come to the church for the funeral. Uh, that neighbor, he told me, I never knew that you are so like you have such a big uh, this thing. Like he saw the crowd at the funeral at the church, so he was just surprised to see the crowd. And he told me this. He so many people came for the dance. I was just surprised. Yeah, thinking about uh, a lot of great personality. Yeah, and uh, he must have thought he must have never seen so many people coming to a house. And suddenly for his funeral, so many people are people coming. He was just surprised. Yeah. He was also well known, also not really yeah. Yeah. people maybe his fans and all. Yeah, and after he died, even for you know condolence, uh, four months only, there is local paisa lay out. You know, the neighbors were very surprised. That only India, only there is actually a local zone uh, condolence lay out. And of course, uh, in our at our house, you know, a lot of singers used to come. Uh, some of the singers were regular visitors to our house, calling them or very much or rocky things or the Dala, Dala from. Uh, uh, Veronica de Souza. Uh, she was his uh, the dad's one of dad's good friends' daughter. She started her career, a singing career with my dad's song. She was very young. She was just a teenager, and my dad used to give her solos, duets. She used to sing duets with Master Roland, and she came up uh, singing his songs, and a lot of songs she has sung and carried for mostly first prize, second prize. Uh, so like you know, we used to have a lot of singers visiting us, and we used to compose and give them. They used to say, they used to give him a story. He story, I just am like, can I give me? We used to write and give. You know, he was so kind of. Name some of his famous songs which you know, right? Yeah, of course, Balot and Phone, the whole world you knows that's it, and that's the epic. Okay. And um, that's the I feel that's the number one song in the East Indian community okay. uh, for competitions. And then there are many other songs like Arde Roti Varla, Dharma La Dukka, Dhaka, Shivta Chi Mati, and Naska Kristau, and all his solos are the top class. But the top notch is Balot and Phone. And um, uh, then there were some group songs also. You'll be seeing it on this program. And then there's Dhuanzu uh, Mala Khat Sajine. That okay. will be relayed now in this yeah. program. And even Ustafar and yeah. even Baiko. Baiko. Uh, yeah. In uh, today's interview, we'll release that also. And uh, even his Shivraji Mati, then Sonaje Garla, Agar, one of. Uh, uh, one of our relatives, like he is my uh, dad's relative. Whenever we used to meet for a wedding, he used to always tell me that that Sunachi Gharla Agla the song you have got just give it to me. So I would think he why is asking for this song? His daughter-in-law is troubling him, him over. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, most of his uh, solos are already put up on our channel. Okay. So guys, I would uh, like you. To subscribe to our channel, the name of our channel is Thomas Parera Dadar Dash Asli Gira. So please subscribe to our channel. A lot of songs are already put up there, and sporadically we'll be putting up some more songs one by one. Okay. So viewers, you will be also hearing the song as Pujar said, Duwanzu Mana Khas Sajile. This song, video song, you will be hearing during this program. Hi, hi to one and all. Dhuanzu mana khas sajile. Ya East Indian gana aple famous singer Mr. Thomas Pereira, dadar sa asli hira, yanzu compose karun, competition la gaun, prize malla hai.
त्यांच्या गाणेमेनी नेहमी एक समाजासाठी मेसेज असायचा त्यांची मोठी पोरी एलेनॉर परेरा आता त्यांना पूजाच्या नावाशी वळखीला जात आहे मी त्यांचा खूप आभार मानतो आहे का माना त्यांजू या गाणेमेनी इनॅक्ट करायचा पहिला मोका दिला आहे अशा वालगीत आहे की तुम्हाला हे गाणं खूप पसंद येईल आणि तसंच आपली पुढची पिढी आपल्या मायस्पाईसची मान सन्मान करतील कारण आपलेच मायस्पाईस आपली असली जीवनाची संपत्ती आज पंधरा ऑक्टोबर आपल्या मोटर सिंगर थॉमस परेरा यांचा बड्डे नाईन्टी फोर्थ बड्डे आहे अशा वालगीन का आपण त्यांना या गाण्याचे थ्रू लाईक सबस्क्राईब आणि शेअर करून त्यांना एक बड्डे विश म्हणून देऊया आणि त्यांच्या आत्म्यासाठी आपण नजार करूया तर चला ऐकूया व्हिडिओ सॉंग धुवांजू माना खास सजील आहे माझे जित्ते पण पाणी 
कामाजी एक एक दूध उतरेल मोटी शानी जमनी वर्षी सारगा परेन हाथ पोच विलता मीनी कामाजी एक एक दूध वावी राजा चिरानी पुन माजे पाट मंगारी अंध खेल मानले सैतानी काई खवर जिंदली ल्यास प्या त्याच काई मान्या चमानी माजी बाई कुना मी दोग साई ल्याव ये ल्याव पानी तू वाज मलखात सजीले माजे जीते पानी सगले जनावरां चमी जनावर मलकायच नोता कहा या आबरुन जलून पनासुवर सांची माची ताकत गेली सा मी बोलें ते यांचे मवाली उलट मार्तिन माजे चलाद पत काले आस्ते चार सैतान पूर पुन यांचा फुकट चधा आज माजात माजे वती ये तैरा का फुका ये दोनी हाथ कारन यात हातां जुन माजे घेतली घात दुआन खेल वील दिस नरा आई का दुआन दो उगरा तुम्चे कान तुमाला सांतै होन एक बाग जान जुन दुनिया तुमाला दाखरी ली त्यान चखे उनो को आई सपा दोन सार के धुआं दो कल कौटा लिता ये खोटे गुण कस पर कर आल मजा जस पर हाई तुम चर गत्रू पाक ल्यावा निखला जैसा फूल खलता ही एक फूल इस सर तीन ते दो सार जान ठेवील जीवा शिपाल गुण मोटी सरम न लाग वाटेल तुमाल आउतार तुम चाच बगुन आठ वाल माई बाप तुमी रग ताती आस वलरू या धुवें चे पूर सारा माई बाप गे लाई हारू गट के मंद धेवी तान या लाखा चबारा वाजू के मंदी देवी तानिया लाखा चबारा वाजून घट के मंदी देवी तानिया लाखा चबारा वाजून Yeah, my mom also was multi-talented. She was a teacher by profession, and she was a good cook, then good at cooking and stitching, crochet, knitting, and all that. And besides that, she was a good singer also. Yeah, she used to sing well. She was in the choir, church choir. Church choir. And you know, at All India Radio, radio there was one Joshi was heading on India Radio. He, um, he took an audition and she had passed it and he was uh, and uh, he even called her to sing on All India Radio but my dad didn't allow her. I don't know the reason but he didn't allow her. And of course she brought us up very well. Mm -hmm. 
my my mom was very strict very right? so i i still remember when i used to go down means like uh, she used to watch me play down and whenever little dark used to become she used to like, you call me up come come up okay like she was means like limited okay. then then once it was dark come and study like uh, she was very strict she she had given us a time limit all the all children <laughs> By seven, you should be. In yeah. The house. First, actually, yeah. parents are very strict. By seven o'clock, you have to be in the house. If you are not, uh, if beyond seven, if you have to remain out, you have to give your explanation why. Why? And then you get beatings and all. You have got beatings. Uh, beatings. Yeah, when we were small, we did get beatings. But uh, she brought us up very well, and uh, I'm very proud. I mean, we are all proud of ourselves. We all came up. Uh, we are self-made. We all five children. We are self-made. We came up on our own. We are doing well for ourselves. And my brothers are, uh, you know, no vices they are. No drinking, no smoking. All my okay. three brothers. And um, my mom's family, my uh, maternal grandmother and my maternal uncle, they helped us a lot. Of course, they used to help us when my dad was alive. And when my dad was no more, so we never felt. His absence much. Of course, uh, it took a long time for us to go through his death because it was mysterious, tragic, sudden at a young age. But then my uncle, uh, my mom's brother, was uh, like a dad to us. He supported us a lot financially and in every way. Mom never thought of singing along with it, partner like. Ah, uh, <laughs> no, yeah, she did sing for. Uh, Uh, well, concerts, concerts, concerts. Yeah, concerts. concerts and she did sing duets with him, uh, opening choruses and all. Yeah, she sang rocks concert at uh, Saint Rocks concert at Badala. She sang, she sang solo also, complimentary, all complimentary. Okay. She never sang for competitions. And uh, she had, like, she had planned to uh, when I was in when I was in school, she had planned to make me a doctor. She is saying uh, means uh, she is to. Like she had an impression that I I can study well, okay. and even my grandmother, my mom's mother, she said that okay, since Bhopal is studying well, let him become a doctor. But then she also passed away soon, and to become a doctor it is like uh, expensive. Expensive. Right. So uh, like uh, by the time I passed my tenth and all, uh, we were not that <laughs> like able to spend so much money. Right. But then she uh, after I passed my TY. She uh, told me to uh, means uh, join law. She because of her I like uh, I didn't go to work after my TY. I just wanted to earn some like go join any company. Okay. Like start start working. But she said no. You as long as I am there, you study. So I joined law. And un unfortunately when I was doing law, she passed away. And then uh, like I had to like you know. and which took a very long time for us to overcome as they rightly say time is the best healer we will be celebrating his 94th birthday right yes ma'am so whom do you admire among the singers i think uh, i feel my dad is the best till date you know uh, why because besides his composing and singing he had that commanding loud voice at the same time it was melodious His singing was absolutely flawless. You know, he had that art that uh, God, God's gift. But uh, you know, besides that, uh, he had that personality. You know, he used to look like a hero, very good, uh, like a real uh, film, filmy hero. And then he had that uh, um, you know talent. He used to draw the crowd towards him. I love his action. When he used to enter the stage, that he used to say, he used to wave out on with his right hand. And mostly used to wear a suit if it was not a story, you know, where weight required, weight is uh, not required a traditional dress or some other dress or female dress. 
I used to wash mostly wear the suit, you know, so that used to be outstanding. So that's why I consider him as the best. And of course, after him, we don't go much for competition, so we don't know uh, much. But then I feel Gregory and Gilbert after him, then there's Father Dalmik, Father Donald, and um, uh, Cedric Tixera, of course. And Cedric Tixera, you know what? There was one when my dad composed his first composition was at the age of 16, Kalechi Namusaka. And uh, Cedric Pixera's dad, Brass Pixera, was also a singer and a composer and my dad's cousin. So he had taken that uh, song to him. He said, Dada, this is my song. This is my song. How is it? How many mistakes are there? How many corrections are there? And you know, Brass Pixera saw that song and he was like, Oh, he was like, How many songs are there? How many songs are there? Like that, you know. And uh, there are many upcoming new boys also, new, new young boys, new young generation. And of course, the young generation should come out. Yeah, should come out to keep the yeah, tradition. To keep of the ours. tradition on. And there are many uh, new new guys, girls. I see some on competitions on Facebook and all. They are coming up. Yes. Yeah, they have to like raise our bar. You know, Nelson Patel has raised the bar with his yeah. online competitions. And uh, you know, yesterday the. Uh, program which Adolf had recently. Yeah, that yeah. was Ocean, awesome. Ocean Ocean Entertainment. Yeah, it was very good. So we should yeah. have uh, you know quality quality concerts yeah. and competitions. Yeah, I mean after the lockdown there were many youngsters coming up like we could see all new faces singing. Like we were surprised to see all this like there is a talent in the youngsters. Yes. So nowadays we have started going for competitions like uh, since we are retired now. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, so we find little time to go on a Sunday, like whenever the competition season comes. Yeah. And uh, I've seen uh, Norris Gilbert and all Gilbert Cedric, then Sheldon Hendricks. They are good voice, good uh, good singing. So, so it's we, good. Yeah. We have to raise the bar. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Youngsters should come up. Me. बाइंडर सी जुना सिंगर डोमिनिक रॉड्रिग बोलते हैं आता जब पुराना माइट नहीं चल उन प्यार टाइम वाला ऐसा एक होता गाऊना रहा चाचे भारी भारी गाने अंदर उन हुरील सा दरा रहा जाइ जाइ से पहले बक्सिस गिना रहा दादर सा कोई नूर हीरा टॉमस परेरा जहाँ टाइम वाला कंपटीशन ला टॉमस परेरा गावा था त्या टाइम वाला मी भी गावा थी उन तो एकदम शांत सबाव था मानुष होता तो ड्रेसिंग रूम में नहीं ड्रेसिंग करूँ होना शी न बोलता आपले गाने था याद करी त्रेवा था न दोले मिटकून पहला बक्सिस गेची दावा था कैसा पहला गाना कलईची नवसा कर उष्ट फल गरीबाचा दुआ मारी बाए चौकाची माती, धर्माला धक्का, सोने जे घराला आग लगली, अशी खूब खूब गाने तंजुन रचिल आने गायिल हैं। उन एक गाना रचिल पर आने गायिल पर तंजुन, तेसे गाना रसना ने अजुन, न रसना ने दिजुन, ते गाने तो नाम है बालोचन खून, बालोचन खून, बालोचन खून। आठवरास तुरिं जुन आज दुनी ललावी लयां दुनी छे चार दिशान त्यांचि पाप करतान राज वल कितने दिस आन रात पापी त्यांचे संगात पर ते त्यांचे पदरानिक फल बगने हो तवरान मंग दुनी चिडोल्याव देतान हात लपवाला त्यांच पाप काल लोकांते करतान वार मारतान अपली चावलात बेगुने गार तो कौला जिव त्याच मायला घालते साथ बोलते मैये चे आगे माय माजे माजा घेव नको आई सागात माय Kumarum 
माय तुझे दुधाचा गुटखा पाज माला येंग मार खुशी तुझे निज आर दुनिया माल बघून दे एक घटका बल जग हो तुम्ही कालो कान बघ मैने झायल नो सो माय मान माझी सोरव तुझी आग माझे आसुवाशी इज मंग पाहिजे तै मला उरव आर पापन तिमले तुझे हात माझे रक्ता शिंध पिरून तू ये तुम्ही आठवल पाप ये महा पाप याला कारण बी पुरुष हान पुन पहिलेच पापान केली चूक जानास दुरे हान बदनाम बघित असाल तुम्ही ही पाप आज दुन्नीच बाजारान उरविलेले ते कौल जीव कंच कचऱ्याचे डब्यान आज दुन्नीचे कल्लो गल्ली ही खूप लफरी वाल्या अरे आपली आबरू वाचवासाठी कैक धून बालोत्या कैस नाही जरा तरी यांचे काल झाल सुटे घाम करतान खलासिया त्या बालाची एक रातीचे पोटान माय नको माल माय तुझे दुधाचा गुटका पाज माला येन मार खुशी तुझे निज आर दुनिया माल बघून दे एक झटका बल जग हो तुम्ही कालो कान बघ मैने झायल न सो माय मान माझी सोर तुझी आग माझे असुवाशी इज मंग पाहिजे तय मला उरव आर पापन तिमले तुझे हात माझे रक्ता शिंध फिरून तू ये तुम्ही आठवल म्हणून मिरव कसली मोटी मोट दिल तुला माय पण येऊन परमेश्वर पोटी तूच माय सारे तुनीची साय सारा संसार तुझे हाती तुला पाहिजे ते सोन करशील नाही ते सगळ्याची माती अमृत एक मद गुलाबाच फुलायशी घर विल तुला पुरती तुझ्यासाठी घुसलेली हाय रक्तांक एक राजांची धरती तुला साक्रमेन टंकाय देत केल्या बांधावा जलमाच्या गाठी मंग करण्यासाठी पारून घेत सायशी पदरां पल खोटी बोल तुझे तोंडी 
करून हिम्मत कसा यावानी चिमलून कौले फुलांच्या मानी अरे राणी जैशी राणी तू आज आपल्याची शानी कल्ला खेळ खेळतेस आयशे सैतानी माय काय केलं त्या वक्तानी तुझे आबरुच गे पाणी तुला नसतान खरा धनी कशी नशी करून टाकी तुझे पोटची निशानी गेल सारे दुमीच सुख आज तुझेच पापनी गेल सारे दुमीच सुख आज तुझेच पापनी गेल सारे दुमीच सुख आज तुझेच पापनी and they sing a song so that is such is a great thing and um, uh, one thing i want to uh, mention that mari bai was his first duet and uh, he had worn a skirt blouse and sat in uh, those days for competition there used to be very few items and uh, competition used to get over by 12 in the night and there were no mics but that voice was so loud that you know it used to reach till the end of the ground and everybody could hear Okay. and everyone used to sing he's a goan boy are yo goita kode amche competition la kala yon kai the people used to talk like that they didn't know that he was a east indian because uh, he was staying in a wadi uh, very very mm-hmm. lot of and the other were lot of goans were there so my dad's whole family knew konkani you know they can speak konkani very fluently and my grandparents knew portuguese they knew portuguese very well so then the children learned a little some few portuguese words also we uh, i've seen ki there are many people who means talk great about my 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 dad but some like are still there who uh, like uh, yeah they they don't criticize it means some misconceptions are spread okay. see there is like we find all type of people some people who are negative they spread it in negative way so we would try to like uh, through this uh, this thing yes, uh, yeah. media uh, through this media keep uh, wherever like uh, we have try to like explain and thankful to gregory for his tribute in his song asli hira after his death uh, there was a cassette Uh, which was released uh, by uh, Brian and uh, Veronica from Khar uh, i think there were some eight songs uh, of his in that cassette yeah. what message like to give to the community so puja what message would you like to give to our people of a community yeah i would uh, firstly advise that we have to be united as a community we have to be very united and uh, save our gardens save our lands right. whatever is remaining at least save that and um, uh, another thing is uh, give importance to education everybody should be highly qualified highly educated and um, leave uh, you try to be your own boss now leave that man to find job and even uh, once you are highly educated you can hold big big posts you know presidents and whatever directors Well, it's nice to see our uh, people working on higher posts like right. entrepreneurship right and, yeah and be entrepreneurs be your own boss mm-hmm. uh, start your business on a low scale later on you know yeah, come yeah. and raise it to a higher uh, you can become big businessman and you can open some people can open their own uh, cafeterias their own resorts it's nice to see all that there are some mystery and do have 
they were only really having that and I think they should expand, make it big and we have to help each other, we have to help our community in any way we can, we, can, we should help each other and um, uh, also our children yeah. should follow our traditions and all that. Our children should follow our tradition, our uh, language. Language. Yeah, apart from that, like I feel uh, means we should uh, put back the past. Any negative, see, we as a human being, we get negative, negative feelings against each other. But we should keep that apart yeah. and be united. Yeah. Try to any other tasks like try to work together. on that. We have to be happy for each other. Abi, you ni bar motor bar getles, bara motor plan. You ni moti gadi getles. I should be happy for you. Chal chal. We have to overcome overcome all those things. Also, negative feelings. We have to be happy for each other. Then only we can. Yani mota bangla bani ga. It's a world ka hi dhan ke andar hai na. I should be happy for it. You know, when you think good for others, good things automatically come to you. That is the law of karma. You have to believe in that. You should always think good for others and good will automatically come to you. Also, so, encourage our neighbors, like our Eastern yeah. community. Our Eastern yeah. community, encourage each yeah. other, help each other. In, even a good advice, you are helping somebody mm -hmm. by giving good advice. Even that is good. Yeah. So, that's the message we want to deliver. And we love you all. We love. My dad was a big lover of our community. And we used to always say that, Konala uh, Kawa. Uh, don't harm anybody. Bale to rose down, Devula rose gelas nai, Arthelan rose vesles nai. That is, you know, don't harm anybody. Do, 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 go around doing good. And that's what we have learned from him. So, we love our community. And God bless our community. We love you. We would like our dad to be remembered as the people, East Indian people rightly say, the East Indian legend. legend whose composition and lyrics people still long to hear and even 40 years after his death still remember his songs. I have a lot of songs that I have written in my life that I have singer or composer. I have a lot of songs that I have written in my life and I have a lot बरोबर सोपते अजून पर्यंत तरी आम्ही नाही ऐकत लिहिलं कारण आम्ही आमच्या डॅडीचे गाणे ऐकत जरी रेलू तर ते सबत एक एक आम्ही जे ऐकतो ते आम्हालाच माहिती करायला लागते का त्या ते सप्ताच मतलब काय आहे तर आम्हाला आवरच पाहिजे का आपले लोकांजून त्यांना एक लेजेंडरी सिंगर म्हणूनशी लेजेंडरी सिंगर कंपोजर म्हणूनशी त्यांची याद ठेवावी हाय एव्हरी वन आय एम मॅर डिकामो Uh, daughter of late uh, singer and composer Wally Matthews Bandra. I'm here to share a little about Uncle Thomas Pereira. Uncle Thomas Pereira was a very good composer and singer. He was still well remembered for his songs like Balotin Khun and I remember his song Waradachi uh, Paili Rat a duet. He was a good composer and there were many people who had also sung his songs for competitions like uh, Mary Murzello, uh, Brian and uh, Veronica from Khar. Even his daughter, elder daughter Pooja used to sing with Master Roland at that time. She used to sing duets on stage. I remember I was a little girl and I used to go with dad for all the competitions. So I knew most of the singers of that time. But those days, the singing and competitions were really, really wonderful. It was like, you know, whole night competitions, but it was fun. And people used to enjoy those competitions. And I remember when Uncle Thomas used to come on stage, the stage used to be, so, the people used to be so silent just to listen to his song because mostly his songs are very emotional, but very touching. 
and with a good storyline. Uncle Thomas used to always carry a prize. And uh, I knew the family well because we used to all meet at Boywada for functions. And Uncle Thomas and my father used to keep the crowd going with their singing. And um, it was real fun those days. I remember the day when we got the saddest news of Uncle Thomas passing away. It was very sad because we lost a very good singer and composer. And in his memory, uh, Gregory from uh, Vikroli sang a beautiful tribute, Asli Hira, which is still very well known till today. After he passed away, I lost touch with the family. I was very close to his younger daughter at that time, Deirdre. Then as years went by, I had gone for a food festival at uh, Santa Cruz with Hazel. And I remember Bonnie Jigul from Khar coming up to me and saying, Myra, uh, Uncle Thomas's daughter wants to meet you. So I was very excited because after so many years we were going to meet. And it is then that I met Pooja after so many years. And then she told me that she wanted to do something in her dad's memory. And I said, of course, surely I will help you. I took her and I introduced her to Alvin. And along with Francis, we all came together. And uh, then the release of her, their CD in his memory came out with the major part of her elder brother, uh, Gilbert, who is no more today, you know, going forward and doing these things. And it went off very smoothly. I too sang in their CD. And that is how we all got in touch once again. Today, his children, Pooja, uh, Deirdre, Rufus, are working hard towards keeping his legacy and his memory going. It's hats off to Pooja, who is really working very hard, you know, in going forward and doing her best. Keep it up, Pooja. I just want to say one thing, and that is, as children, we know what are the feelings of their towards their parents. Your dad will be very well remembered always. May the souls of Uncle Thomas, his wife and Gilbert rest in peace. Thank you so much.
सर ढाकून दे नको आबुरुच पसारा तो शिकलेली ई चार तुन केलास खरा पर काय तू हा बोललीस जव ठरविला नवरा
Hello everyone, my name is Sunil Kumar. I am the eldest grandchild of uh, the late legendary Thomas Pereira. Unfortunately, I never had the privilege of meeting him since he departed on his heavenly journey before I was born. Uh, but I've heard many praises about him. I've also had the privilege of listening to his uh, great lyrics. Um, coincidentally, my wedding, the, my wedding coincides with his uh, birthday, the 15th of October. Um, I'm truly proud to be his grandchild. And on behalf of all his grandchildren, we would like to wish Grandpa a very happy birthday in heaven. Uh, thank you, everyone. Enjoy the show. And uh, that's goodbye from New York.
Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye. Love you.